This is a quick demonstration of EMC Scale.io, a distributed software storage stack that can be used for transactional workloads. It uses the capacity that's local inside the servers, in this case 50 servers, inside a cluster to present shared storage that can be distributed to hosts, in this case 100 hosts. Now, an important question with any distributed storage stack is what happens when you add or change hosts inside the cluster and how does it deal with failure? Here we're going to do is we're going to add 10 hosts to the cluster and see what happens. If you take a look, you can see that the total capacity is increased and we're starting to rebalance across these 10 new nodes in the cluster. If you take a look, the rebalance is driving about 30 megabytes per second of rebalancing bandwidth while also supporting the primary storage workload. Now let's take a look at what happens when a host fails and is replaced or uh, the failure is fixed. What you can see here is that we've uh, got a single failed host now and there's a rebuild going on in the background. Scale.io keeps multiple copies of the data for protection, uses a distributed caching mechanism to make sure that performance is consistent, and the rebuild will continue until it is complete and the capacity is fully protected once again. These new distributed software storage stacks, exemplified by VMware vSAN, target VMware admins, vSphere units of scaling around you know, 10, 30 odd nodes in a, in a cluster, and tightly integrated with vCenter being one example, and EMC Scale.io being another example, focused on a more heterogeneous set of use cases and different scaling units, potentially up to thousands of nodes in a cluster, create whole new architectures that are interesting and compelling in new ways, in conjunction and adjacent to traditional network storage models. Very, very cool stuff from EMC and from VMware.